Being an architecture student is already expensive. Software and material costs add up fast. But a powerful laptop doesn't have to break the bank. In this video, we're covering the best budget laptops for 2025 that can handle essential architecture software without overspending. Let's get started. So before diving into our top five, you've got to know these important specs before purchasing any laptop. Here's what you should look for. The processor is one of the most important components. At minimum, you'll need an Intel Core i5 or AMD Ryzen 5. But if you can find a Ryzen 7 or equivalent in a budget-friendly option, that's even better. Since architecture software is CPU heavy, a strong processor makes all the difference. RAM also plays a huge role in performance. You should get a minimum of 16 GB RAM for multitasking without the lag. Some laptops even allow RAM upgrades, which is a big plus for future-proofing. But if you can't, and the best option is 8 GB, considering your price range, that's all right. Storage is another key factor. 512 GB SSD is good enough for speed and space. But if you can get 1 TB, it's worth the upgrade, since most architecture files take up a lot of space. The display should be around 14 to 16 inches with full HD resolution for clarity and precision. Touchscreens and 2-in-1s can be useful for sketching, but they're not really essential. And lastly, while a dedicated GPU is great, integrated graphics can still handle 2D drafting and basic 3D modeling. So if you plan on rendering, look for at least a graphics card equivalent to RTX 3050 to keep things running smoothly. Now that we've talked about the features, here's some of the best budget-friendly laptops that balance price and performance for architecture students. First up is the Lenovo IdeaPad Slim 3. It's lightweight, super easy to carry, and doesn't slow you down when running architecture software. So if you're always moving between classes and need something reliable without spending too much, this is a solid pick. And it's one of the cheapest laptops on here, priced at 480 USD. Next is the Asus VivoBook S15. So if you like having a bigger screen to work on without carrying a bulky laptop, this one's a great choice. It's thin, has plenty of power for 2D drafting and 3D work. And right now it's on sale for $800. And for those handling slightly bigger projects, Asus VivoBook 16 steps things up. It's got more storage and power, making it a good transition laptop if you're moving from school projects to freelance or firm work. It's the most expensive one on the list, but it's built for more than just student work. And right now, it's priced at around 800 US dollars if you customize it. And if you're looking for something more customizable, the Dell Inspiron 2-in-1 14 is really worth considering. It's a touchscreen laptop that flips into a tablet, which can be handy for quick sketches or note taking. You can even customize the specs based on what you need. So if you want something that fits the best specs that I mentioned, it can be bought and customized for around 699 US dollars. And our last and definitely not the least pick is the Acer Swift 14. It's built for students who need a premium yet lightweight laptop. Uh, with a high quality touchscreen display and solid performance, it's really ideal for drafting, rendering, and presentations. Plus, it has a long battery life, which makes it perfect for long hours working on that project. It has the best specs out of all the five laptops. And right now, it's on sale for $699, which is great because it really fits the bill for the best specs for a laptop. We do recommend these laptops, but the reality is that all these budget laptops won't match high-end models, but they're already pretty good and can handle AutoCAD, SketchUp, and other basic rendering just fine. Don't expect ultra-fast render times or complex BIM workflows, but drafting, 3D modeling, and coursework, these laptops are solid choices. So if you find your coursework or even workflow getting more demanding, try upgrading RAM or adding an external GPU, which can really extend the lifespan of your laptop. So that's it for me, and if you found this video helpful, please hit like, subscribe, and drop a comment below on what laptop do you think is the best or what you're considering buying. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!